All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Cornerstone Season 2. Hope you guys are doing well. Once again, it feels like it has been forever since the last episode, and it kind of has been a long time, but I'm ready to get back into the swing of things. I have a bunch of projects lined up for today, which I would like to get done. Including the ski resort, we are almost done with completing this project. All we have to do is finish the ski lift, which I worked on in a stream a while back. And all I have to really do is get this house done at the bottom. We also have to put a bunch of chairs on the lines that I made. And there's also a house at the top that I would like to get finished. Along with that, we also have some lights that I would like to put up along the trails. And also a few more trees that I just need to plant. And that will be the end of the ski resort project, at least the mountain part of it. I still have to work inside of here. This is the lodge, which I have been working on for ages, and it is still not done. Uh, it's kind of a work in progress. I don't feel like <laughs> working on it today, but maybe we can get some stuff done in here. We'll see about that, though. I really want to work mainly outside today, especially around my house. I believe it was last episode, or maybe it was two episodes ago, we started this project where I wanted to build a village, and I think I'm going to completely redo the idea behind this. Because, you can see, I made a layout for a town, we have a bunch of these shapes where houses are going to go, but instead of that, I think I'm just going to work on one house at a time, instead of doing everything at once, because, to be honest, it's kind of overwhelming. But that's okay, I'm going to see if I can whip up a few designs for some houses coming up in a bit. Unfortunately, it started raining, so I'm going to have to sleep and get rid of this. But yeah, give me a second, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. And by then, we'll have a few more houses done. Alright everybody, we are back, got some more work done here at the base. As you can see, we have two more buildings in. I just built this one a few minutes ago, and this one over here is what you guys saw during the montage. Thought it would be kind of a cool idea to build some sort of a church. So, I built this out of some mud brick. I had to go all the way to the mangrove biome, which actually, uh, thanks to Drew, he helped me get there. Uh, and I just realized I kind of forgot put some details under the stairs I'll fix that in a second but uh, the inside is not detailed yet I would like to go in here and make like an altar or like uh, some pews and stuff like that um, and maybe some other details uh, we also got some stained glass just for a little something else uh, because I never, I never really used stained glass so I thought this would be an appropriate place to use that we also got a bell up there made out of gold which actually I could put an actual bell up there so it would actually make a noise if you hit it, but I don't think I have any of those. Uh, over here, though, I built another small house, and this one's out of brick, of course. Um, not my favorite, to be honest, but, you know, I just have to fill in these spots super quickly um, just to get this video out, because I want to get this out soon. And I just kind of whip these things up. Sometimes I end up liking them, uh, sometimes not as much, but this one's okay. Uh, the inside's not done yet. Uh, I still have to cook up some more bricks or something, and I was thinking maybe this could be like a schoolhouse or something, because usually those are made out of brick, and I also put like a little tower on it. But yep, that's what I got done so far over in the village. I'm going to go and actually head to the shopping district and buy some more materials, because I would like to get some more houses done pretty soon, but before I do that, I actually built the ski lift building over here. It's actually pretty cool over here with the sun setting. Uh, I like this aesthetic or whatever. But uh, yeah, this is the ski lift building. I built it out of green terracotta, which I do like very much. I don't really use terracotta, but I do plan on using it a lot, actually. Um, and I put my A up there for my name. We got in here pretty much the same details as last time. I mean, all I really did was just build a house around the... Uh, 
skillet thing here. I kind of forgot if I demonstrated how this worked earlier, so I'm just going to run through really quickly again. But pretty much, if you're a skier or a snowboarder, you just come down the mountain, and if you want to go back up, you just go through this door right here, and pretty much you wait until a chair comes around through this conveyor belt thing, and it picks you up, and it's going to bring you up, hypothetically, if this was real life, but... Yeah, I still got to put the chairs on, of course, and I still want to put something at the top, similar to this. And then, the ski lift will be done. So yeah, that's everything I built in the base here so far. So actually, I'm going to be taking a break from this project, and I'm going to go over to the shopping district, because Pally actually built a new shop that I would like to check out. Alright, hopefully it's stocked, because he literally just posted his episode on this project yesterday. So... He is selling terracotta. That's his shop name. That's a lot of kata. And uh, I really like how this turned out. It's a classic pally build. And let's see if the inside... Uh-oh. 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 Okay. Well, the inside is not done yet. So I guess we're not going to be getting terracotta today. But let me see if there's any other shops that I would like to buy some stuff from. You know, I actually haven't gone down here in a while. This is the mine mall you didn't already know and there is a prismarine shop which is right here and I want to see if dark prismarine is restocked and it's not so I guess prismarine is not an option uh, I was wondering if that was gonna be there because my nether tunnel is actually built out of the stuff and I do need the dark prismarine for my design um, but actually let's check out my shop there is not gonna be anything in here Except for birch, probably. Um, there's a little bit of jungle. I have to restock pretty much everything. Uh, spruce is going to be easy. Oak is going to be pretty easy as well. Dark oak, I'm going to have to go back. Mangrove wood, uh, I got to restock. And there's some acacia. So I have to restock my shop because people come here for wood, and if there's no wood, well, People aren't going to be building with it, and I need to make some more diamonds. We're actually, we have quite a bit right now, but i like some more. So, you know, I think I'm going to go and do that, and I'm also going to work on the base a little bit more. So I'll see you all in a bit. Or, or, or if you want, like, I can start talking about, like, what I'd like to do. Um, you know, so, like, for a long time ago, like, for example, I started, like, this kind of arching hallway. Yeah, yeah I would yeah. like to kind of complete this around. I see that you, like kind of went further with the walls and stuff like that yeah i was thinking so, um if you go down here um do you want to continue the stone brick all the way around because mm, well, i i checked out what white concrete would look like and uh i like how it looks but we can we can always go with the stone brick yeah um so i had to open here because the idea was that i was gonna have like uh concession stands or whatever along here and then yeah uh, we have the deck for people to eat and uh, get some amazing oceanfront views. They can watch some fights from over here, too. They can watch some fights from over here. Uh, of course, we got the boxing arena in the... I don't even know what this is called, but it's like where you fight people to the death. Well, I mean, <laughs> you fight people to the arena. death. And, yeah, it's a brandy arena. I guess you fight people to the death in both of them. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, uh, yeah, uh, I'd probably say get the inside done, um, complete it. There's a bunch of, like, small things, like, we could put a lot more detail in the ceiling, but that's just a mm. lot of work that doesn't really need to be done. Right now, it's just the bottom of the stone, or not the stone, the uh, sandstone. Yeah. Yeah, so there's, like, a couple small, like, tweaks uh, I, I wanted to, like, mention, too, and stuff like that. Um, so I think, uh, I don't know if you saw this maybe in, like, the last video. I think I talked about it in my last video. Uh, but standing over here, like, if you stand on top of the stands, like, just realistically thinking, like, this is just kind of me nitpicking, but yeah, obviously yeah. it doesn't really matter. But, like, hypothetically, if fans were standing here watching a game, like, they couldn't quite see the scoreboard right so i thought about just like um here i got the stone on me now so i thought about just kind of bringing like this wall here and down maybe just kind of bringing it down like maybe another couple layers or so 
or levels, I should say. Okay. Maybe something like that. I don't know. And then, uh, I don't know. I, cause it just seems a little claustrophobic, like looking at the seats from like back here. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just trying to see how that would look from the ice too. And also we got to get rid oh, of that yeah, present yeah, that's on important. top. I didn't talk about this at all, but there's a giant gift on top of the, on top of the dome. <laughs> there's, there's nothing in it. I, I was already up there, but I got to okay. take down all that wool and stuff like that. Who built Something that? Something I noticed too is like, you see all the snow up there? Yeah. It's like it's like this building is so high that when it rains, it snows up there. Yeah, that's from the ocean. I think that that must be like a thing with the ocean biome for some reason, where if you build on a certain height above it, it just does that. Um, mm -hmm. But we could we could put torches up there, or we could put uh, string yeah, could. up there. Could yep, yeah, totally. Because like you said, like if we do kind of just continue like the uh, the stone. Uh, the yeah. stone brick walls and stuff like that would kind of continue that tunnel look right honestly like it's not really as much work i don't think so maybe i i think we could do that i think on this side of the building totally we could do the stone but like you said with the balcony and stuff like that it is more of an open concept so we can kind of get away with doing a different look on the other side of the building i agree and then we can just copy all the stone brick stuff on the upper um upper ring i guess you could say that goes around right. Or do we have three? No, we have two. The lobby have, area kind of yeah. needs a little bit more work, too. Yeah, the lobby area. This hole, well, this hole is going to be filled in with the logo <laughs> on the other side. That's uh, right. we yep. got to put the windows in. Um, yep. And then also, I had this idea. Um, I don't know if you saw this. I put this um, tunnel up, kind of. But there's going to be these booths. Okay, these yep. are like the press boxes. Uh, there's going to yep. be walls here, and you're, there's going to be, like, little rooms for people to watch. Yeah, I, I saw that this morning, actually. I thought this was a really, really good idea. Yeah, that was the uh, original things that I wanted, because I've built stadiums before, but they didn't have, like, cool stuff like this. Um, which I think, like, the more detail you have to build, um, the better it looks overall, because it, it shows that you paid attention to detail. Um, Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it I wanna... looks really nice. And then I know you like interior decorating. Is that true? <laughs> uh, yes and no. It depends what, what okay. it is. Well, I, you, you could, if you wanted to, you could put like some stuff in here in all these rooms, sure. just like some chairs or something. Uh, Absolutely. I, I might come back here and work on this when I'm done working on my base, which will only take another two years to do. So. And you want those booths to go all the way around the arena? Like over here, there's going to be some more yeah. walls and stuff. You like see that all here. the, all of the like, uh, with deep slate, post deep slate, and then the windows. Like every single window is gonna be a room. So, yeah, yeah okay. I don't know how many rooms that is, um, but I I might have to get a, a bit more white concrete. Quite a bit more actually. Oh, and th this is a mess over here too. Uh, I don't know. I think we're gonna have to make like a few steps up <laughs> to go over the yeah, scoreboard because yeah. I don't want to mess with this at all. If I break one block, then the whole thing's gonna be broken. I'm gonna feel horrible. That's right. I would like to add probably some balcony, not balconies, but um, like rails, like somewhere down okay. here. Uh, maybe bringing out like the floor, like say the stone was like more concrete or something like that. Yeah. You know, I'd probably do something like this and then just maybe make like a zigzag kind of uh, railing to go all the way around. Okay. I, make, I like... think we should probably use quartz for this just to match the uh, staircases. I'd probably use oh, quartz. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. And yeah, yeah, we can do that. we could... Fences on a diagonal suck in Minecraft. Uh, I was thinking of maybe of like glass panes or glass something panes. like that. Yeah, glass panes too, because they are, they take up like just to make like a curve, it takes up like three blocks. So we'd have to go yeah. out. I don't have any blocks on me. We'd have to go out like two blocks with the uh, quartz or smooth quartz. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then uh, of course I'd like to also do like the locker rooms at some point. The locker rooms. Um, yeah, yeah. So right. Uh, okay. basically I haven't really done anything other than just kind of start digging up a hallway space a little bit, but, um, yeah. So I think each team and I would like to have like some sort of way to connect it to the lobby. So if you walk in, maybe you could take like a staircase down or an elevator down and that would take you to the dressing rooms and stuff like this. Yeah. That it makes sense. Cool. Right. We should have like yeah. an access to outside. Uh, also the Zamboni thing over here. I was going to say this it'd is... be cool because. I see a lot of builds on, on Instagram where it's like people are making like cars and motorcycles and like Minecraft with like, you know, 
these uh like small blocks and stuff like that it'd be cool to try to make like some sort of like zamboni in here too yeah we could make like a garage back here we'd have to clear out a little bit of water yeah might have to get some flood insurance or something but i think we should be good <laughs> for sure for sure but yeah, but, yeah, I think uh, I think for the most part, I think I've said everything I really need to say about this place. Is is there anything else you wanted to talk about before we do more work? Um, no, I think that's it. Awesome. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little clip there of me and Drew. Uh, we just met up a few days ago and talked about what the future of the arena project was looking like and some things that we still had to finish with it before it's officially completed. But since then, I have worked on the village quite a bit more. We got another building in. Uh, we actually have two more houses, so let me check those out. At the start of the episode, my original goal was to get this village completely done. I wanted to build all the houses, but I don't think that's going to be the case for today. I'm running a little bit short on time, and I told myself I wanted to get this episode out by today. So I'm going to record this now, and hopefully in the next few days... I'll have some more houses built, but this is the clock tower. I just came up with this. I thought it was a pretty cool idea, and uh, I would like our village to have a few more recognizable buildings. So, yeah, we have some, I think this is, uh, I think, Tudor style. So, you can see I put some cross beams, I guess that's what you call them, um, on the walls here, and I think that looks pretty good. The interiors are very far from being finished. That seems to be a theme with my builds, but um, I will have to do some of those in the future. As you can see, this is the tower up there, and I couldn't really... Uh, <laughs> I, I kind of had some difficulties making the actual clock. As you can see, I picked a time, which I believe is 9.15 or something, because you can kind of see the hour hand and the minute hand there. Originally, it was actually uh, the same width as the tower you see how it's I think it's seven by seven but I quickly realized that to make the clock actually look like a clock I would have to kinda go out a little bit so you can see I had to build out and uh, I kinda have a circle shape it's not exactly a circle I think I have to make it a little bit higher like a block higher and I do have to fix the roof uh, I worked on that for quite a while so I don't know I might have to redo the whole thing if I move that up a block but it's not that big of a deal uh, it only took me about 30 minutes to do. Uh, the whole building together probably took like an hour or an hour and a half. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to put some more buildings in here. Uh, this is the other one, by the way. I'm not too happy with this one either. Uh, sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. And I think I said that earlier. Um, but I tried to make like an A-frame house here. And in my head, it looked better than how it turned out. I think I have to just make it bigger. But yeah, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. I am kind of cutting it short here on time. I don't know how long this episode is going to be, but um, I think we did get a lot done. Uh, so look forward to next episode, which should be coming out soon. And I'll probably have a bunch more buildings done by then. And if I don't, you can yell at me all you want in the comment section. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Peace.